What are we calling this video? Our 2017 favourites. Are we on? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I snuck it in there without you knowing, didn't I? No, you can. Um, oh, you've got all right. Have I? I can't see through her shape tape concealer. I haven't got shape tape on. <laughs> Do we say to people who we are? Um, I think we should. So, three, two, one. Hello! Hello. I'm Patrick. And I'm Patrick. Okay, wait, forget the hello. Maybe I am Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. I'm Patrick. And I'm Rosie. And we are the grandpa. And grandmama. Of Pout. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome today to our 2017 favourites video. Yeah, today we're going to be giving you, um, like, uh, <laughs> God's sake. Today we're going to be telling you um, a little bit about our favourite products, what we like to use, what we loved to use last year. What's got us going over the past year? A lot of things. What has gone? <laughs> Many things. What's got you going? <laughs> <laughs> Not you! <laughs> um, today we are going to tell you a bit about what the products that we've... No, that doesn't make sense. Today um, I'm going to tell you a little bit... Uh, no, that says me. Today... <laughs> today we are going to show you some of the products that we absolutely loved last year that we used all the time. And these are all of our top Holy Grail products that we've both used through all of our makeups and yeah. all the staff here at Pout really, really love using. So we're gonna go ahead and get this video started. Oh god, I feel like such a... a, a no. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say beauty guru, but that's accurate as well, I guess. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the tutorial started. It's not even a tutorial. <laughs> yeah, right, so I think we should like just crack straight into it. Let's get started. Crack. So, our favorite foundation. Yes, 100%. Oh, I'm saying it, yeah. <laughs> you could just go with that. Okay, so my favorite our favourite in fact, yeah. like definitely I think more us two mm -hmm. out of the whole team at Pout because we really love foundations don't we? We, we love talk about them quite a lot. We go swatching in the shop and we put it on our hand and we touch it. Yeah number um, one foundation of this year has definitely been the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Light Wonder Foundation. Yeah. Um, do you want to tell the, the guys at home a little bit more about it Rose? Um, well what I'm probably going to say is completely not what is said on the label. Um, should that's we read the usually labels? The w no. I think we should go as what we think it is, not what other people think it is. Well, what do you think it is? Well, I think it is the best foundation, number one. Why do you think it's the best foundation? So, for me personally, it's the most versatile foundation that I've got in my kit, and that's really important when you've got hundreds of different people sat in your chair, um, ranging from, you know, very young to slightly more mature and I feel like so for me it's definitely a luminous finish but you can slightly change the finish of it and I would say it's a medium foundation but it's definitely buildable now if you like me you whack loads of the stuff on and you get a really gorgeous luminous foundation I just feel like as soon as you put it on the face it it looks it, nice. It looks, it looks so good. It like, is a really gorgeous foundation. Like Rosie says, it's super versatile and you can get a lot of different uses yeah. out of it. From anything really natural all the way up to like super glam. Uh, but it's it's really luminous, really yeah. nice foundation. And then on the other side of the spectrum, foundation wise, we also, I think our second favourite um, is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. But it's kind of changed like our makeup life. It's definitely more of a matte finish foundation. Oh, 100%. Super full coverage and it just gives that flawless finish. So all those baby girls who are going on a night out around Manchester or Liverpool, wherever you are, um, you're gonna love it because it's yeah. really long wearing and it just gives you that flawless, uh, beautiful finish. Talking of primers and moisturizers, yeah. Segwaying into the next product. <laughs> um, our second favorite product we want to mention is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched. Primer, base, moisturizer, yeah, cream, 100%. thing. Our face, like undoubtedly, like the thing that has transformed my primer kit because, in fact, it's probably obliterated my primer kit because <clears throat> I now know how. 
I now know. I now know. I now I now don't have any other primers slash moisturizers that I really use on a daily basis. Yeah, it's I think it smells of like um like holiday. Yeah, whenever whenever we put it on someone's face, they go, "Oh, what is that? It smells so nice." Or I love this. <laughs> what is this? And I go, "It smells like holiday, doesn't it?" And they go, "Yeah." So I think a really important brand to talk about today, um, one that we are truly invested in and everyone's loving at the minute, like literally they've really taken off on Instagram and like props to them because they are amazing, is Doll Beauty. So Doll Beauty is actually run by a couple of girls that are actually makeup artists so I feel like they've really tapped in to what us makeup artists want and need as eyelashes and as a highlighter. Mm -hmm. um... I really love using the, the Doll Beauty highlighter. They have two colours, like a diamond and shine bright. Shine bright. Shine bright, like a diamond. Oh my god, I've never got that before. Have you never got it? <laughs> what if it never what if it actually is nothing to do with that? Well obviously it is shine bright like a diamond. But what if it's not? Then that would be a very funny coincidence. Anyway. The highlighters are really beautiful. They give a really, really bright highlight, which is what we all love yeah. in Manchester. Um, but it's it's quite well refined. It's not too sparkly, which is a really delicate balance, I think, to get in a highlighter. And girls, you done did good. Yeah, I think it, I think it looks flawless. 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 <laughs> I think it looks amazing and for me personally their lashes are amazing because with other brands, some other brands, um, beforehand I was layering up two to get the effect of what <laughs> one, one doll beauty lash can give me so that's what I really appreciate not having to buy like two sets of lashes to make one. So we've got two different eyeshadow brands we want to talk about to you today. Um, and a pigment technique. Oh, Anna Pickman's so actually three. Actually okay. three. Two main eyeshadow brands are Anastasia Beverly Hills, obviously, and also Melchior, which is quite a unknown brand, but it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, yeah. and people are starting to know about it. They, they, they are. They specialise in bright colours, and it's very hard to get pigmented eyeshadows that are a good price that give you what you want, basically. And they're only about three pounds yeah. forty nine. I think yeah. they are. The price is incredible. So with the Anastasia eyeshadows they do more neutrals and they're really really well known yeah. for that. But they do a lot of colours but I think when it comes to shadow I tend to use my my Anastasia shadows for my neutrals and then I yeah. head over to Melchior for, for colour. Um, and they're all so rich and pigmented. Obviously the Anastasia are a bit more pricey than the Melchior but... But I feel like you can tell the difference anyway as well because you can tell the eyeshadow is mm. baked differently. Yes, they're so buttery mm. and so creamy <laughs> and, they plan, and they blend like heaven. They're gorgeous shadows. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> and, and, and um, the favourite, we have a couple of favourite colours by the Anastasia. Mm, and just, yeah. Modern Renaissance palette is like the one, the the best thing since sliced bread. Literally, it ha if, you're a, if you're a beginner and you need an eyeshadow palette and you need to be able to do a lot of looks that are going to cater to a few people, straight away, boom, 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 Modern Renaissance, go for it. Our favourite colour is probably the Love Letter. Love Letter. It's like a pink is unreal there's nothing like it you can buy it on its own yeah you can buy it buy it on its own but you'll see a lot of our uh, 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 eyelets you will see that we've actually used it in them um things like burnt orange raw sienna morocco there's a chocolate one in there i like fudge um caramel all the tasty sounding ones why do they make eyeshadows sound like food? Like, this is what I want to know. Because you want to eat them. <laughs> I just want to hear you do that again. <laughs> um, so yeah, we. I think there are two favourite eyeshadow Yeah, brands. definitely. And then 100%. for pigments, um, I know oh, that Rosie, you can't live without these, so do you want to talk about them? Yeah, I feel like, literally, Lich. this year, I probably, it's very rare that I've done a makeup without these pigments. The brand that I cannot live without, and I think a lot of people here literally love this year that we can't stop using. It's very rare you'll find that I do a makeup without them, is the Peaches and Cream pigments. So they are really cheap, well, cheap for a pigment, so it's like six pounds, I think, a pot. 
um, and they do bundle deals on their website as well. My favourite colours in them, because some of them are like two-tone, iridescent, like the way they pick up the light, they're very fine. They look, some of them are really glittery, like mm. they just transform a look. So top top ones 100% to get that you need, 1 million percent for your kit, is Gatsby, um, Wish. Wish. So Gatsby is like a silver gold, like I think you'd describe it as, and I think Wish is more of like a warm, goldy gold. <laughs> a gold. A gold. It's gorgeous but it's, it's gorgeous. Um, and then absolutely love on the colour end of the spectrum kind of like um I love fantasy, pixie, um and I love mermaids. Um like there's one that's like a purple, a pink and a blue. Um and they're like the iridescent ones and ultimate for peachy guy, if you want the best in peachy colour, um pearl pigment is the one. Mm. Mm. Okay. So uh what's next? Uh, lips wise, we've become quite fond of a brand uh, that. Yeah, you talk. Okay. Um, that, right, I'll start that again then. So, when it comes to lips, we are big fans of the Jordana T shirt. That's how you say it, isn't it? T shirt? Yeah. Yeah, the Jordana T shirt lipsticks. Uh, um, the, the Jordana T shirt uh, lip. What do they call them? Liquid lips. Liquid lipsticks. lipsticks. And she also and does lip, lip glosses. glosses. Yeah. She's also branching out to pigments in 2018. Uh, they are gorgeous. Uh, we stock them in the salon, which is great. So if, you wanna, mm -hmm. if you're interested in any of them, you're more than welcome to pop down and we can uh, sell some to you. But the liquid, actual liquid lipsticks, God, it's such a, like a tongue twister. Liquid lip licks, licks. Liquid lip licks, licks. Um, I've actually got one on now. There you go, Rose has got one on. But they're really long lasting, really gorgeous, matte finish products. Um, and I think it's tricky to come by ones these days that are a mixture of affordable and high quality because there's yeah. so many that have come out, these liquid lipsticks, after Kylie brought hers out. Um, and some of them are a bit pants and they can make your lips really dry. For me, the lip glosses are the best. Lip like brown. I'm wearing Enchanted now, it's just they're called Lusters and they go over any liquid lip um, and they just sort of enhance it. They taste amazing, like every time yeah, I Yeah, everyone on. comments on the smell, everyone goes, mmm, they smell gorgeous. What do they do? They go, mmm. <laughs> um, so Enchanted is our favourite. Enchanted, glasses, and then it? for the actual lip paints, yeah. I would say in the buff and paint the town. I'm going to let Rosie talk about the next one because she's You're been... You're letting me do a lot of talking. Well, I'll talk about it, but it's your favourite product. Yeah, true. She's been very bougie with this, and she's chosen... Creme de la mer. I just love finding new places to wear diamonds. Mm -hmm. Fruit of the sea. Not fruit of the sea. Cream of the sea. <laughs> fruit of, what, who said fruit of the poison? Not me. Anyway. Anyway. I don't even know what it's called. The setting powder. It's like a tri it's their translucent powder. Oh, yeah. it. Now it is not cheap. Okay, we've given you some cheap options though. So which allow you to save for this product. Once you get it, unfortunately it changes your makeup life forever and you then find yourself very addicted and you can't go back mm. it's like you will never be able to go backwards to so another why powder. do you like it so, so much? i love it it is probably <laughs> i just love it i, love it. I just love it um it is so finely milled okay um i find with translucent powders that they go clumpy lumpy dry bitty the porridging oh it really annoys me whether it's setting the concealer on top of the eyes setting the concealer under the eyes this just kind of like you put it in and it like diminishes fine lines look at these wrinkles what is holding this woman together it has got this slight what do you call it sheen it's like a, a luminosity yeah. it's got a slight luminosity to it um I just cannot find another powder that literally makes my makeup, like makes the skin flawless. Yeah. It is just the most flawless powder. Yeah, it is really beautiful. Right? And I don't actually use a, a, a huge amount mm. of it, and that's why it tends to last me a hell of a long time. It lasts me about what, four months? Yeah, it would last me a week. And that's me using it like all the time, constantly, and that's through a busy kind of period. So. It's £63. Um, 100% worth it. I am keen to try the Shishado powder, so if anybody oh. knows anything about them. Sh 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 Shishado. If anyone knows anything about them, let me know. Interested. 
So our favorite concealer this year has to be the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape. It is the richest, thickest, most beautiful concealer. It's gorgeous on mm. the eyes for like brightening up the skin, mm -hmm. but it just doesn't look cakey. cakey. And it's especially when, when I lean over and borrow some of Rosie's uh, Creme de la Mer powder. Oh my God, those under eyes, it is heaven. If you want to have that Photoshop, Instagram, Instagram. That's why I feel like I do, like the skin with the combination of the powder and the concealer. I feel like it does the work for you. It does the you. work for you. Like, what you see is what you get. Exactly. Another one of our favourite brands that we've all been really loyal to this year is my Kitco, uh, run by James Malloy, Alex Thompson. Um, it's a really fantastic brand. It's kind of made by makeup artists for makeup artists. And they specialise in really high quality brushes and also kit bags. Um, I think 90% of our artists here have everything that they stock. Um, they, um, the kit bags are great, uh, so it's like the actual kit containers. Um, like you'll see the uh, Brush Buddy, which is really well known uh, by the guys, and also I have all of their big pouches. Uh, and then the brushes, of course, which are just really, really high quality. The brushes are amazing. Yeah, like really the brushes good. are great. And I now have some brushes that I've totally replaced some of like my stereotypical brands with. Um, and the kit, the kit bags, they just do what they say on the label. You know, they're there to help you know make your life easier mm -hmm. and I think that's really important when it comes to artistry yeah. so it's not necessarily a specific product but it's something that we would go out and advise just for like makeup artists or even if you want a really high quality brush that's not as expensive as some of the high street brands one of my favorite products of this year, um, it's been around for years, obviously I used to work on a Mac counter and I used to actually go home smelling of these wipes every day um, and I didn't appreciate them until I fully got to work out in the industry all the time. If you want a wipe that's going to get rid of pigment, glitter and a load of basically horrible stuff underneath the eyes without sort of, you know, disturbing the skin too much and get, you know, if you want... <laughs> <laughs> if you want a really good wipe that's gonna go <laughs> if you want a really good wipe that's gonna get rid of all of that glitter and all of that pigment where you get that drops down when you're doing a makeup instead of just you know a, a set of wipes from boots or whatever you need something a bit more heavy duty this is your wipe so it's just literally the Mac wipes um, it's got sugar cane in it um, so it slightly exfoliates which is great and it just leaves the skin looking really really fresh so it's lovely for then you to go over a bit of makeup application with yeah wipes aren't the best thing in the world for your skin but if you're gonna get any wipes get the MAC wipes yeah. because they just eat through your makeup I know both of us when we worked on yeah. counters at the end of the day we'd whip all our makeup off and you take one of those big full wipes and a full heavy glam yeah, makeup and exactly. it comes off the one. they're great exactly so they might be a little bit more expensive however you're going to use a lot less of them than you would a normal high street pack i think that's everything so we really hope you've enjoyed watching our little video today um thanks for listening to all of our guff that we've been rabbiting on about and our gavel. Um, basically, if you want to ask any questions, if you want us to do anything on YouTube you're struggling with, you want to see, please just comment below. Yeah, um, and in the immortal words of John McClane, uh, subscription is optional. However, we would quite like it if you give us a thumbs up. Yeah, please give us a <laughs> thumbs up if you're feeling generous. Yeah, thank you so much again. Bye, guys. Bye. Uh oh. That's totally delicious. I know, that's what I said at the beginning, <laughs> that's the end. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs>